This is Chris. I'm stuck in the elevator. There's been a crime afoot. Yep, this is gonna be a lawsuit. Okay, I think I'll take the stairs after that. Gang bangers will say is La Raza. You're refusing to wear a mask? Yes. Okay, thank you. Ma'am, what's your job duty? We're, 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 we're stepping up, ma'am. Did she lock us in here? Man, this lady just locked us inside of a vault. Golly. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Fraud at a Roundup with Sheriff White, a moron. Help my channel continue to shrink by watching my videos, sharing my videos, commenting on my videos. Turn on that notification bell and turn on all the notifications. Consider a membership. Take that there like button, like it, dislike it. Next time it's got to do a presentation at work, offer to buy coffee in the morning, but slip in three crushed Viagras. Today we're taking another look at this guy who goes by the name Sean Paul Reyes, channeling his Long Island outing. He is a world renowned goat fucker. And I don't just throw that around lightly. I've got it on authority and from very good sources that he loves fucking goats. Today's just kind of a sillier video with him. So he notices a police officer interviewing people who are sitting on Home Depot shopping carts. And they're not on Home Depot property. So of course Home Depot wants to get their carts back. So they call for assistance for the police. You'd think that'd be an innocent enough situation, but Sean Paul, hero of the working man, decides to thrust himself in the middle of the situation for God knows why. So he's kind of arguing with the cop back and forth for a few minutes. Nothing major. He winds up accomplishing nothing. But if you're going to put yourself in a situation like that, you better have your own house in order. Because he gave the officer a chance to pull him over, and it didn't go well. So what do you say? Let's round us up a fraud at her. Come on, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Who are you? Let's move forward. Move. Leave him alone. Who are you? What's your name and badge number? Who are you? What's your name and badge number? What's your name, Sean? What's your name and badge Sergeant number? Neil, Sergeant, leave him alone. They're not, not breaking bothering. any laws. They're not, bothering. They're not breaking any laws. Leave him alone. Depot wants to come and collect their shopping carts. Leave him alone. Nice. Did you talk to Home Depot? Yeah. You spoke to Home Depot? Yeah. When did you speak to Home Depot, Sergeant? Sean. Sure. So, Do you have so, any purpose here? Yeah, I have a lot of purpose here. I'm here to, you can move along now and stop no, harassing no, no, no. and stop harassing people that are not doing breaking any laws, sir. I no one is nice breaking any laws break here. The they don't work for Home Depot. They can, Home Depot can come get their own carts. You are not, not are you a, not are, are you part of the cart narc, sir? Or the Suffolk County Police Department? Okay, sure. Are you part of the cart narcs? I don't know what you're talking about. You never heard of the cart narcs? Look, for someone who claims to be this guy's boss, he sure ain't listening to what you got to say. And by the way, if you don't know who the cart narc is, first of all, congratulations. He is a uh, annoying kind of a frauded or hybrid who loves harassing people who don't return their carts at the grocery store. He does things like throw magnets at their carts and generally annoys them and try to get them to put their carts back. And how he has managed to stay bipedal after doing this all this time, I have no idea. Are you an agent for the Cart Narcs? I'm Agent Sebastian. I'm the founder of the Cart Narcs. That's not where the cars go. I'm the Cart Narcs. I'm responding to a complaint. No, you're not. You did not, not receive a complaint. Semantics. Don't. You're not. A, you, you don't work. You don't. You don't work for Home Depot. You work for the people. These are uh, I, free people that are free I, citizens I, here I, that I aren't breaking any laws. Okay, not returning your cart, is that against the law? The, do they own the cart? Is that against the law, not returning a cart? Do it's still on Home them? Depot. Do they own them? Home Depot owns them. That's right, Home Depot's Home problem. Depot Home Depot's problem. Right, and they asked us to facilitate getting them back. Is that unreasonable? It is unreasonable because they're not breaking any laws. If you're taking something that belongs to someone They didn't take it. They didn't take know. it. They're possessing it. Okay, they're not taking it though, sir. Sergeant, why are you harassing people? Don't you have better things to do here than to harass people about Home Depot carts? 
Look, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on here, but it appears there's a few people with a couple of carts at the Home Depot that are at a bus stop sitting on them because there's not a bench. Now, since it's a bus stop and not on Home Depot property, of course they're going to call the police to help retrieve them. Now, we don't know if the people he was talking to took them, but it's obviously not a big deal because he's not arresting them. He's about to get on with his day. This is protecting and serving. This your is my tax is, dollars here. Your name is Sean Ray. You can know everybody knows my name. I don't care if you know my name. It doesn't matter to me. What does that matter? It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm here to. They own the carts. It doesn't matter. They're not stealing is the it carts. Okay, if Home Depot wants them back, so people. Home Depot can there. come and get them back. This is Home Depot's parking a lot of lot. People are possessing them, and they're not theirs. They're not no, breaking. Not if they were law. breaking, if they were breaking a law, you would arrest them, and you're not no, because no. they're not breaking the law. Having a cordial conversation. They don't want to talk to you. I heard them. They don't want to talk to you. Okay. And they, they don't want to talk to you. They got off the carts, so now the people who are employed. They're, they're sitting on the carts because there's no seat here on a bus. It's a bus stop, and the seat was removed. Why was the seat removed? Do you know that? Are people employed to make money and, and help their lives by collecting the parts and bringing them back home to people? So they're sitting on the carts because there's no seat here at a bus stop, sir. I'm, I'm not, I'm not this is a bus stop here. Do I I under, like you don't look like a Home Depot employee either. I'm asking you a question now. I mean, you could say you don't work for the, at least the transportation department is a is public it entity. Is person's right as a free person to work for Home Depot and do their job? They can come not and get the carts if they them. want them. Not if people are they possessing They have people them. that come and get carts. Not if people are possessing them. Not How do you know that they put the carts here, sir? The carts could have already been here. I said they were possessing them. They're not possessing them by sitting on them. That's not possessing them. I nicely asked them to get up. But that's not possessing them, Sergeant, and you know that. That's not possessing them. They were already, the carts were already here. You don't know, you have no you're reasonable being, suspicion. Reasonable. No, I'm not. I'm trying to protect the residents of this, of this county. I'm facilitating your YouTube channel now, which is very, very nice. I mean, you can facilitate whatever YouTube channel you want. You could say you could fill, you could have, I told you to move on about 10 minutes ago. Was that a lawful order you gave him? What's the penal code on that? Because we know you only care about law and not feelings right you could have moved on you didn't have to facilitate any youtube channel or now, anything and now we keep up and get the, the person who's trying to make money and provide for themselves and their family can come and finish their they job. could have asked them to step up just off like of the cart and hey can i have the cart like they don't need they don't need people to sergeant right they do not need i'm here i'm here to hold you accountable Home Depot doesn't need law enforcement to tell people to st uh, uh, stop sitting on carts. Tell me, tell me how. They don't. How? They could have said, hey, you're sitting on our cart. Can we have it back? That's it. You simple. That that might have it's that simple. Past? Did it happen today? We're not talking about the past. Did it happen today? Are you aware of that? Did it happen today? You know I was over wrong? there watching you. Yeah, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not saying you did anything wrong. I'm just saying that I was over there watching you, and you obviously Listen, came over I here and you started harassing me. people. They, they didn't want to talk to you. I heard them when I pulled up. They didn't want to talk to you. They said, don't say anything, right? Because they, they don't want to talk to you. And they were talking to me. They were very nice, actually. Okay, well, I heard somebody they're say they don't want to talk nice to you. waiting for the bus. Right, they're waiting for the bus. Right. Right, and you are now illegally, also, you are illegally parked in a bus lane. No, I'm not. You are. I'm conducting official police business. No, you're not. Yeah. You have no official business with me, and you're talking to me. Yeah, I know you're enjoying this. I'm not so enjoying I'm anything. Gonna go. I'm gonna go yes, have a nice day. No. You are dismissed, Sergeant. Thank you. Have a nice day. You stay safe out there, okay? Have a nice day, Sergeant. Have a nice day. They're sitting on carts. You have better things to do than to harass people sitting on shopping carts. Look, if Home Depot calls the police for service, just like a citizen would, the police are obliged to go. I don't know what the issue is. Sir, you are illegally parked right now. I'd appreciate if you moved. You are, you are in the way of the... Just to show everybody, you are in the way of the bus lane right now, sir. Parked the wrong way on the side of the street. I can account. I you can break the law. Speech. Are you allowed to break the law? I'm allowed to conduct an Are you allowed to break the law? A investigation? What crime? Of the possession of the They're not in possession of it. You know it. I'm They're helping, not. I'm helping the people. There, no, you're not. You're not helping anybody. And you're instigating. I'm not instigating anything. Looking, I came over here. You're looking for something. Have I have I have I raised my voice at you? Have I called you any names? No. I am here talking to Again, you, Sean. telling you. Again, Sean, I'm okay. Here. Okay. So. Have have a nice day. Go let Home Depot know. Go do that. I'm here to protect citizens from unwanted conversations with law enforcement. You have no reason to talk to them. They're not breaking the law. 
but there's no reason to talk to them. They're not breaking the law. And exactly, that's why I came here. Look at you. You should do that. Exactly my point. Finish whatever you need to do. You're in the way of the bus route. Have a nice day. Take care. Absolutely ridiculous. Over people sitting on shopping carts. Yeah, that's, and I told him, stop harassing these people. And I knew he was harassing you. He says you were in possession of these carts for sitting on a cart that was here. You didn't bring the cart here. And they wanted them back. We got to bring them back. Yeah. You, he, he told you to bring them back? back. Yeah. So, I said they didn't bring them here. He said that you have to bring them back to Home Depot. Right. But yet you didn't bring them here. Right. Exactly. <laughs> do you work for Home Depot? I do. You work for Home Depot? Okay. Okay. Well, you don't work here, so I'm sure you don't want to be working on your time off, right? You'll get your ass out of your vehicle. <laughs> yeah, what? Bring the cards back. What'd you tell him? He said somebody called. Somebody called? I said he's the one who called. Right. No, because he was over there. Yes. Looking For at. Half hour. He was over there because that's what they do. They stand right over. They sit right over here and they look at the bus stop. And he saw you sitting, you. sitting on a shopping cart that you didn't bring here. And he says, "Go bring it back." Right. Wow. What authority does he have to do that? He doesn't work for Home Depot. I told him that. I said, you don't work for Home Depot, Sergeant. That's a, so, that's a supervisor, too. He's a sergeant. Hold on, wait a minute. I know you. You know me? I watch your thing. You're Long Island audit. Yeah, Long Island audit. Long Island audit. Yes, sir. Long body, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Thank you, man. I'm on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, I, everywhere, I, I man. Shit, yeah, I, I, I hold the police accountable. You've seen it. I've been watching shit for hours, bro. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Long Island Audit. My name is Sean. I have a reputation for holding police accountable. And I saw him over here, and I'm like, there's nothing good happening here. You know, he's going to try and hem you guys up for something. He said you were in possession of these shopping carts here. You have a reputation of holding police accountable. I'd like to see you try to quantify that. You see here, it's a bus stop. There used to be a bench there. They removed the bench. So now these people see these Home Depot carts. Home Depot is right over there. They see the Home Depot carts just sitting there and they sit on them. I mean, who could blame them when their government is failing them and not providing adequate services? There's no bench to sit on there and to wait for the bus. There was one, I remember seeing one here and there's not there anymore. So what the sergeant did over here, he thought he was doing something, saying, hey, Sean, 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 dude, <laughs> I don't care if you know my name. It's, you know, Google it. I mean, I'm everywhere, obviously, at this point. I'm not in this for anonymity. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to remain secret. You're not going to get my ID. You know who I am. I don't care. I have nothing to hide. I don't have warrants. I don't, you know, I beat all the criminal charges against me. I'm a law-abiding citizen. So... It's absolutely ridiculous what the law enforcement officer did here. So I'm on a traffic stop right now. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Good work, Lou. You'll make sergeant for this. Hi, Miss Grace. Are you alone in the car? I am alone in the car, yeah, here. Okay. Hi, officer. My name is Akshay. I'm an attorney. Sergeant Leo, so you wanted to retaliate against me for me? Uh... Well, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, that's the same cop he was just harassing. You want to play F around and find out? He's finding out. Oh, but wait, he's got the attorney shield on the phone with him. Oh, he's sure to get out of this ticket. I just, um, hi, how are you? I just, uh, this officer was harassing people. I am a, uh, I'm a partner with Attorney Shield. Amazing. This officer was, har this offer, this officer was harassing people and I was uh, exercising my constitutional rights to, re to record him. And, um, I told him to stop harassing residents. And, uh, as soon as I pulled out of the parking lot, he, uh, <laughs> he pulled me over. So definitely in retaliation. So, um, he just went back to his car with my license. Okay, let's see how he responds, but I'm here in case uh, you need any information. No problem. Mr. Rice, while we wait, would you like me to apprise you of any of your constitutional rights? I presume you're well aware of them. 
Oh no, that's fine. Thank you. I, I no, I appreciate that. Thank you. I understand. Hey man, just so you know, I stopped you for the the finger thing does. Honestly, what did you stop me for? Honestly, it's a the the window tends to too dark. And honestly, it's it's a really a safety hazard for police officers, and it's something that you should have removed. You know, it's for our safety and for the safety of the motorists on the highway. Okay, so I have no I, again. I I told you I have no, no problem with anything that you do or anything like that. Um, but again, it is a safety issue. People do get hurt all the time, and wow, we'd appreciate it. You will comply with the New York State PTL. So I just want to let you know what you're being stopped for. That's why. All right. Yep, dark tint is a concern. That's why there's laws against it. This officer don't know what's in the back seat. It could be Hoyt Webb, arm to the teeth. Or broken system, broken trust, touching himself. It's a scary situation. So you didn't stop me because I was you know, of our interaction earlier? I can't even see in the car, so. You didn't, you didn't stop me for our interaction earlier? <laughs> Any idea what the hold up might be? It's been, it's been keeping you waiting a long time. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like an unreasonable amount of time yeah. for him to be stopping me. But again, this is for completely retaliation against me for me, you know, exercising my constitutional rights and um, recording him and having a conversation with him regarding his harassment of citizens. Like I said, strictly for your safety and all the motorists. It's for officer safety. That's what you said. And everyone else in the you said it was for officer safety, and this is complete retaliation what you did to me. This is complete retaliation what you did to me, Sergeant. Complete retaliation. All right. Well. All right. Has he issued you a ticket at 30, all? I love. I love how there's a timer on here. Almost 35 minutes yeah. later, he, he hands me the ticket. Well, I appreciate you being here, and um, thank you for you know doing your job. Thank you. Now I thought her job was to keep you from getting a ticket. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, this is, I mean, this is very unreasonable. Right, right. Well, I'll take it up with the McCourt. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate you, okay? Yes. I'm going to end yes. the poll now All with right. my pen. Well, I can tell by that sundial, it's time to say goodnight. Put a little beans on the fire. A little Long Island iced tea on ice. And as always, cuddle up with a clean shirt and a dirty woman. Anyway, goodnight. I bid you adieu.